Everyone wants to have the yard and the garden that is the envy of the neighborhood. And every month, our friend Perry Stothart from Classic Landscape drops by with some great tips and tricks. And that's what you have today. So you brought in some uh, essentials for this cold. So we've got some traction control, some I've never even heard of ice melt. So what is this, Perry? Yeah, you know, I, I wish we weren't talking about minus 8,000 temperatures that are coming later this uh, week, but no. it is here finally. And, and being prepared is obviously a big part of our winters. And, and I, I think for most of us, you know, ice melt and, and traction control really talk about it's not a chemical product, it's a product that just gives you some grip on the ground. Okay. And um, when we think about ice melts, they are a chemical product. Uh, generally speaking, um, they're some kind of chloride based product. So, you know, sodium chloride would be like the white rock salt that you see. Mm -hmm. Much more common out east. We do have it here, but it's not a good idea to use it ever. Um, it's cheap and so that's why people go for it but it leaves a white residue it's really nasty on your plants on your turf on your cars on your cars if you use it a lot and um, it, it's really something to stay away from the other thing about it is it's only effective to maybe minus 10 12 15. okay and so again if it's sort of not super cold okay it's cheap okay but for a few bucks you're kind of wrecking everything else and it's not worth it and so typically speaking you're going to have like a calcium chloride product something with calcium chloride magnesium chloride um, they are uh, more effective to colder temperatures. Like a product like this, uh, they've got here, you know, effective to minus 30 or even below, which wow. is really the top end that you'll see for ice melt products. Okay. Um, you know, the trade-off again, you always hear about, you know, being pet safe, and these products are, but always use as directed. You can't go crazy even though you have a lot of ice melt. You want to be, you know, maybe a quarter to half a cup per square yard uh, when you're using these ice melter products for sure. Cool. And then the ultimate ice burner. Where's yeah, that? so that, that's the main one we talked about. And, and then the one trade off too is you'll get, um, you know, people that are more concerned, I say more concerned about the environment. It makes it sound like if you use ice melt, you're not concerned about the environment. But in terms of product use, there's also another product that's, uh, you know, just here, um, it's more of a natural based product where it's got potassium chloride, which is actually the same thing we use in fertilizers. Mm. So it actually can be helpful. Um, to the lawn. Uh, again, the trade-off there though is that it's only effective to maybe minus 20, 23 range. And so, uh, you know, for most of our temperatures in the winter, that works great. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, if you really have a cold snap, you're gonna have to go to the top end stuff really to make an impact uh, when we talk about ice. Well, this bag is also massive. Like, how long does that last? Yeah, so again, if you go about a quarter cup to half a cup per you know square yard, we'll say you're gonna get about anywhere from two to 4,000 square feet oh. with a bag like that. So you know if you have you know, 100 square feet up front in your sidewalk, I mean, you can apply it several times. So it goes a long way. Cool. Um, and uh, you know, it's got that blue tint, so it makes it easy to see in terms of knowing how to spread it. But this guy's next. Yeah, so this one's pretty cool. It's actually a, a defroster, de-icer spray. Oh, and I so like that. Yeah, it, it's super convenient. It's and so, cold already. Yes, and so what happens is you want to, you know, you just pick it up and you'll, you'll end up spraying it, you know, pop the cap like any kind of spray. You spray it about uh, maybe a foot away from your windshield. It'll defrost it immediately. And what uh, are the days of scraping. Yes, that? and yeah, and so it's perfect. And so it's actually really nice in your side mirror. Sometimes you know it's hard to scrape those. Oh, I can, uh, yes, I can never scrape. You just spray it, and instantly the uh, the ice is gone. And so traction control, it's one we use on a commercial level a lot. We talk about using rock chips. Rock chips, the advantage to that is that a relatively inexpensive, sort of a local product in terms of available around us, um, and it gives you good grip. What's really taking over now though is though a lava rock based product. It has more surface area. It's actually better for the soil. You can use it as a soil enhancer cool. in gardens and stuff like that. Um, and you know, harvest it out of the mountains in uh, Western BC. And as you can see, it has a lot of um, sort of surface area and gives you good grip and you can reuse it. So if you kind of sweep it wow. off the side and reuse it, so, um, and it's refillable, you can, you know, if you buy a container, you can refill it and, and be sort of, uh, you know, economically conscious with that as well. So what does a container like this go for? Um, you know, something like that would be anywhere, you know, $15, $20 range. Oh, amazing. Um, yeah, and it lasts a long time as well. The one thing about that is it's very quick. It gives you grip instantly. Yep. The other side, though, is it doesn't take care of the ice. So sometimes we use them in combination. We actually will pickle our rock chips, we call it, where we add the ice melt to the rock chips. So in a product, and you see those spreaders that people are driving through parking lots, they'll use that as well, so it's really effective. Wow, neato. So much helpful information. We're unfortunately out of time. I know we wanted to talk about landscaping this upcoming season. I'll be back. You will be back. This is the real winner for me today. Super cool. Um, for more great ideas and how you can check out Classic Landscape and Classic Gardens at their two locations, for more information, visit them online at either classicgardens.ca. Stay with us. We're back after the break.